I'm not sure what made me think I could make a living from selling scratched up Monovani records. The only one I ever sold was to Engelbert Pimpledick, and that was as a dinner plate in Mellon, Utah. I dressed up from Monty with love with a side of jello salad and the tiniest dancers you've ever seen. Things got tight, and I had no choice but to let my bills go. I drove them out to the edge of town, opened the door, told them to get out. At first they thought I was kidding, but I explained that just because I'd found Latin rendezvous for a quarter at a yard sale didn't mean it was a good idea to try and turn it for a profit. One bill started crying, said he'd never stop trying to get paid, said he'd hire a lawyer and I'd be served a legal writ. He stepped out and floated up into the sky. I head-butted the horn on the steering wheel. One last tiny dancer repelled down my nose from the cut in my forehead. Once he'd reached my upper lip, I stretched out my tongue and pulled him into my mouth. He tasted like every other mistake I've ever made. He tasted like parking tickets. He tasted like broken hearts. He tasted like changing out the light bulbs in your house. All of them, even the ones that aren't burnt out.